Run. Let's take it slow. Where you go, I go to. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Chubby Girl in Transit. So if you're new here, hello, my name is Ifoma. I'm a Nigerian based student YouTuber. I make lifestyle videos, beauty and college related videos too. And I look at cure depression. Nobody knows that. I'm just telling you now. So you can keep it between you and I. Okay. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys a story time on how I was almost killed by a dog. But before we get right into the video, if you've not already, please do subscribe, give this video a really big thumbs up, and do all that good stuff. So, without wasting any more time, let's get started. Guys, this happened in Kaduna in 2010. It happened that a dog almost killed me. The dog bites me. I'm taking you guys down memory lane 10 years ago. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> so it's said that I was sent to go and buy kerosene from the regular person I used to buy it from now. It's not like a mall or a big shop or a supermarket or even a small shop. It's like a kiosk. I don't know if you know what a kiosk is. I'll show you. So it's like that, like wooden something, Paco now, Paco shop. She sells in front of like gates in her house. So she sells different things, ranging from biscuits, other for five, five naira biscuits, ten naira biscuits. Nigerians are rich, hustlers, they know how to combine different things. Can we sell shawarma and fwe? She sells kerosene, and that's one thing I know for sure. And that's that was why I went to buy that day. That day was it was a Saturday. I can still remember. So my aunt sent me to go and buy kerosene. I took my kerosene gallon. I was walking and I was going. Okay. Obviously, you will walk. You will not fly. Okay. I believe I can fly. I got there because it wasn't so far from my house. She was not in a kiosk. I looked around. She was not there. Obviously. Where else would she be? It's a house. And before this time, I've always been going to buy something from her. Like, oh, obviously, I know she has a dog, and I've always been scared of dogs and everything. And before then, I've not had any meeting with a dog before. I've not had any encounter with a dog before. Me and dogs, we do not have anything in common. So, I knew she was inside. I knew of her dog. She knows that I'm so scared of her dogs. Like, I'm a regular customer. I just come and buy something. I got there. I didn't see her. I was like, okay. What do I do? I must buy this curry. Because my aunt have already picked beans now. I want to cook. I want to cook beans on that spectacular Saturday morning. I said the best option was to go in. And I opened that gate. So I looked around to check if I'll see a dog around so that I can gently back out. But I did not see the dog. I was like, okay, close to clear. Before I continued, I said to myself, Why? Do you think this is going to work out? Because I don't know how to explain it, but she has this wide big compound. I have to walk and walk and walk, 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 walk some more again and walk some more again before I get to that door. It's like a big compound. I just thought to myself, Do you think it's safe to go? The spirit inside me told me, If you don't go, how are you guys going to cook to today? And I took it upon myself to be the brave girl that I've always been until that day. And I went. I didn't see the dog. I, w I got to the door. I was just walking like a free, happy child that I am. I got to the door. Hey. I got to the door. I got to the door. Do you want to know what happened? Okay, 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 okay. Dog just came out of nowhere and started pushing me. I didn't know where this dog came from. Like, out of nowhere, the dog just jump. I've always been told do not run away from dogs. Don't, don't ever run if a dog is pushing you or if a dog is coming at you. I don't know that shock. I don't know where it came from. I do not know the people that invented it. But I want to use this opportunity to tell you guys that thunder will visit you on the. 
So like I've always been told never to run if a dog is coming at me or trying to trying to lick my feet or anything. But that day I couldn't apply that theory because something you never saw coming, something you checked everywhere for, you did not see that thing. And then something just came out of the blues at you. Guys, <laughs> ask me what I did when I saw that dog. It came out of me like that. Run. My two tiny left legs came into action. The legs that have been missing in action for, for the past how many years came into limelight. I started running for my day life. I beat this dog to the shrewd so That was the day I knew that I was a cheater. A cheater in human body. I ran for my life. I was running effortlessly. I was running, 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 running. Until I got to the gate. That was where this new story started from. Flashback. I told you guys that when I was coming in, I didn't exactly get in. I opened the gate slow, I peeped everywhere to see if the dog was anywhere around so that I could just take a little one. But no, I did not see the dog. So I came in, shut the gate. Not shutting, I just I just came in. The, the gate just closed by itself. And it's, it's the only type of gate that has this crazy padlock, like only padlock or just shut. Now when you once you close it, you cannot exactly open it straight if you just pull it. You have to like do some certain things there. I don't know. I don't know who invented that thing. But I'm mad at the person I invented it. I got to the gate. I beat this dog to the streets. Like what are you telling me? I was a born runner. I was running inside my mother's room now. You can't go ask her. Meanwhile I'm beating the dog to the waist. The dog is still pushing me. Such a guy had fun. The dog just loves me so much. I go to the gate, try to do work out something with the crazy lock that was there. But shit wasn't happening. Nature, what's going on here? Respect yourself. I was trying to work out what was going on there. And before you knew it. Before you know it, before you know it the dog had already bites me. Hey! Literally one of the worst days in my entire life. The dog bites me at that instant on my leg while I was trying to struggle with opening the gate. That was when the dog just catch me. Hey! It was as if my whole life was brought to an abrupt end. When I'm angry and I'm trying to phantom how things are working in this entire life, I blow grammar. Gravitational force was against me mother nature was against me literally everything i couldn't phantom what it was going on again they don't bite me i'll show you this car at the end of this video this is what happened next after the dog bites me immediately the dog started running the run that the speed that you would know you should push me when i was coming home the speed that now you should run back or more <laughs> i fear who no fear that dog like after biting me this dog started running back. You guys, I was screaming. I was crying to the top of my voice. I was crying. I thought the dog bites me and they do going back. That was when the, the, the useless gate, now know that it will open. The gate just opened like this. I, I continued running. I was now running with one leg. I carried myself oh, with my one left leg. And I got to my house. I was still crying. Crying, running, shouting, everything. I got to my house. I told my auntie <laughs> last last year that in tears. I didn't die. Yeah. I think I over over exaggerated the title of this video. I probably need Tom new. But I didn't die. Because I'm the one that's saying this story. The owner of the dog later on discovered what happened. Maybe she saw me running with, with, with one leg and she saw some certain signs on her dog. I really do not know. I didn't want to know. The owner of the dog took care of every treatment and medication i went for the dog but the scar is still there up to date and i don't think the scar is ever leaving my body it, i just started hating animals dogs from henceforth i i always hated cats i cannot look at a cat like this image of a cat i can't like i do not have anything that should be with pets animals i generally hate them name it is it fly this one that is always stopping me in my video. I'm going to do video, I'm going to drag screen with this fly. Where does that even happen? 
So we come to the end of this video. If you've had any ugly experience with any type of animal as a pet or whatever, be sure to tell me in the comments. And if you love dogs and you feel like my judgment of animals in general is wrong, be sure to tell me in the comments. God could use you to change me. Who knows? Things that happen with this, I could change. But as far as I'm concerned right now, as I'm making this video, I feel this type of way and I'm unapologetic about it. If you enjoyed the story time, be sure to give this video a really big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you've not already. Bye!